Hello everybody, Joe White here. Welcome to another quick little episode of From Pillar to Post. We're going to talk about a little bit of uh, Marvel here, and then we're going to get into a little bit of wrestling. I um, want to talk about the, why is Robert Downey Jr. on the screen next to Captain Marvel? Well, if you uh, Grace Randolph sent out a tweet. We'll get to Captain Marvel in a second. Grace Randolph sent out a tweet um, with this image. Uh, somebody bought a Shang-Chi action figure. She says she does not like the look of Shang-Chi here, but, you know, that could be a mock-up just from the figure. I like the outfit. More importantly, though, if we go down here, and it look right there, it says Tony Stark, and then in parentheses it says AI. Um, now, I think this is not what everybody is thinking it is. I don't think that Tony Stark is coming back in the mainline MCU. I think this is for the What If series. I don't think it's for a... You know, Cap. Yeah, I don't think it's for an Iron Man spinoff thing or for um, Iron Wars or whatever it's called that the uh, that Rhodey is going to be doing. That um, you know, and I, I just don't think it's it's for that. This is for the what if thing. It looks like a cartoon. It doesn't look like you know. It it, it just looks like cartoon. It looks like the dude off of uh, remember the old cartoon show reboot. <laughs> That's what it looks like. But more importantly, what I what I found interesting was what was next to him, and that is Civil Warrior. Could this be the new um, the the guy from Falcon and the Winter Soldier instead of U.S. Agent? Could he be known as Civil Warrior? And you know, it makes me want to you know. Let me see here. Is Civil Warrior? If you look up a uh, civil warrior and you go to the Marvel Wiki it says the well let's let's take a look at this here This is from uh, the fandom wiki uh was built by Steve Rogers following the death of his friend and rival Tony Stark in their final battle during the civil war that engulfed the planet. It combines, combines the parts of prototype armor Steve collected from Tony's, de Tony's destroyed lab to be used both as battle enhancements and homage to his falling friend and his own equipment. It was later upgraded by an alternate, alternate Tony Stark for the incoming battle against Carnage and the Punisher. And then it was part of the Marvel, the 616 Prime Universe and all that good stuff. Um, so there it is. That's what Marvel Civil Warrior looks like. Um, so I, I, I don't think that, you know, maybe could this, instead of U.S. Agent, could we be getting a, you know, could we be getting this in Falcon and Winter Soldier at the end? Does, you know, do they really need it? Does John Walker really need it now that he's taken the super soldier serum? No. Anthony Mackie, Mackie, Sam Wilson doesn't need it. Bucky doesn't need it. So, I don't know. We could. But I think it's just for action figures. Um, Captain Marvel. I want to go to Captain Marvel. Ooh, this is a good one for Captain Marvel. As you guys know, I hated Captain Marvel. Hated it. I don't like that movie. I watched it again recently before uh, WandaVision just because I didn't know if we were going to get any Captain Marvel um, Easter eggs in that or not. But I was on YouTube the other day and somebody's video popped into my mentions. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and look at this. Here, this is from uh, Laura Legends. She has 137,000 subscribers and on April 8th, she posted a video, and and I want you to look here. She's in a Toys R Us in Canada, which, bravo Canada for having Toys R Us. But uh, if you look right here in the top right-hand corner of the screen, look at this. Well, well, let's just play the video, see what she says here. Oh, ho, ho. Captain Marvel always on sale. Poor Captain Marvel. <laughs> so... Captain Marvel clearance 1678. 
Now, the Avengers, a symbol of Legends of Sourceman, is also in clearance. But golly, they, 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 they want you to buy this and get it off their shelves so fucking badly. I mean, and, and watch as he zooms out. One. Two. They, this one doesn't have a sticker on it down here. But two, a, a whole row of Captain Marvel marked down. <laughs> You know, these, these figures range from anywhere from twenty to forty dollars a piece. I mean, this one up here, you got Winter Soldier and, and, and Falcon up here. That's sixty four dollars. The Black Widow figure, the movie hasn't even hit yet. The Black Widow figure is forty dollars. Captain Marvel. Sixteen dollars and seventy eight cents. Captain America, twenty two dollars. Stan Lee, twenty six dollars. Nighthawk. You got Nighthawk, twenty two ninety eight on clearance. So even, but even even their other clearance prices, Captain Marvel is is being you know clearanced off the clearance rack, y'all. <laughs> Why? Because nobody gave a shite about that movie. Nobody liked it. Nobody wanted it. They couldn't stand the SJWism. They can't stand Brie Larson going out there on Twitter. Running her mouth? I'm not going to be the next this. I'm going to be the first me in press interview. Ugh, shut the fuck up, woman. You stupid bitch. Look at you. I hope you bought your action figure. Well, guess what? If you didn't buy your action figure yet, Brie Larson, you can get your own action figure, your Captain Marvel action figure, for $16.78. All you got to do is hop up to Canada. And go to your local Toys R Us in, in Canada. That, that's what kills it. It's sixteen seventy eight Canadian. Sixteen seventy eight Canadian. Good Lord, guys. You know, and then you know, and they wonder why. They really wonder why. Um. They, they they wonder why we we hate this and or why we 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 reject Captain Marvel. Now why do I got Tony Khan on the screen? Here's a quick video, guys. Whew. Why do we got Ka Tony Khan? Tony Khan. T -t 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 Tony Khan. Tony Khan. Tony Khan. Let me run my promotion. Tony Khan. Papa Khan. Papa 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 Khan. <laughs> I love doing that. I know it's annoying, but um, same video. Toys R Us up in Canada. She, this woman is going through, uh, she, what this woman does on YouTube, she has two dogs. To the best of my knowledge, she's not married, has no kids. So she uses all her money and time and collects toys. Good on you, Moise. Good on you. Anyway. <laughs> so she's also here going through the WWE section. And, and you blink and you miss this. But I'm going to let this play out and let's hear what she has to say here about the, uh, about the WWE section. There's some of the wrestling stuff. What is this? Beast mode. It's like little blind bags or something. Yeah, they're they're blind bags. Now you get the retro core figure for seven forty eight. That's on clearance. That's it's the loot boxes. But uh, that's what these are. They're loot boxes. You don't know what you're gonna get in there. Now they have gone on the internet and said, hey, if you look at the serial number or the, or the volume number on these. You'll know which one's in there. But that tells me somebody had to buy them and then put those numbers up on the internet. But anyway, let's continue. The loot boxes are the least of worries. Look how few of them are on the shelves. Yeah, it looks like it. There's all the people you can get in there. There's some more. Look at Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon has an action figure. Stephanie has one. They got a ton of Seth Rollins bullshit on there. The Miz has his. Matt Hardy. They're still selling Matt Hardy. What the hell? Why does Matt Hardy have a WrestleMania figure from, from this year? That's the either this year or last year's WrestleMania logo. Golly, so many Seth Rollins figures. AJ's down here. But goddamn, why does Seth Rollins have so many action figures? But why are they selling Matt Hardy shit? Matt Hardy's been gone. 
Some of the, I, I don't know, maybe that's old stuff from last year before he joined AEW. Michael Melton, you're in the comment. You ch shout me out here on Facebook or in the comments. You know, you know more about action figures and shit than I do. But let's continue here. The, again, she's going to go buy something. Blink and you miss it. Or wrestling figures. Oh, did you see that? If you didn't, let's watch that again. Let's watch this again. Figures. <laughs> I'll pause Figures. it this time. The only thing that AEW has in the store is fucking this. Now, I can't read the tags. These could be AEW, AEW figures. But, well, this is Ricochet and that's Kevin Owens. But they could have had room for the AEW figures right here. I doubt it. Because there's more WWE shit down here and over here. And they go into some other stuff. But the only thing that they have, toy-wise, that I've seen in this video, in this particular Toys R Us in Canada, is that AEW title. Now, if you remember correctly, and, and um, Jeff Jarrett said this on a table for three that he did with Sting and AJ Styles on the network uh, last year or the year before, he said that the only thing toy companies wanted, like the only thing toy stores, like, like uh, um, Toys R Us wanted in their stores, was their ring because it was the only thing that was unique. I have seen AEW title belts in Walmart and stuff. But guys... They can't even get their action figures in the stores. I'm trying to see again here More if I can see this. Uh, if I could see the. Yeah, I can't see it. So that right there, I mean, that tells the tale there. Tony Khan, look, you got that worried look on your face, Tony Khan. You better get out and draw those plans and crayon to get, you know. To get your stuff in the stores up in Canada, they'll carry your your cheap looking title belt, but they won't carry your action figures. I wonder if Tony Khan's got his own action figure. I'm gonna get one and flush it down the toilet. Anyway, quick little episode here of New Sir or New Search Live from Pillar to Post. God, old habits are really dying hard. From Pillar to Post, Tony Khan, t t t Tony Khan, Tony Khan, Papa Khan. Let me get your money, Papa Khan. I'll open up my own fed con. <laughs> so, Captain Marvel, you know, 16 bucks. AEW, can't find any of their shit in the stores. <laughs> so people are begging Tony Stark to come back as an AI at this point. Grace Randolph seems to think so. Grace Randolph said, this is a sure sign that he's coming back. One more thing, actually, I wanted to show you. One more thing. And this right here, uh, this right here kind of pissed me off. I'll show you this real quick. Sh the headline here, on, and this is from NoDQ.com. I'll even, lo I'll even load it up for you. Golly, man. There you go. You can read it. Actually, I'll go on Twitter and look at it. Let's go on Twitter and look at it here. Oh, it doesn't exist because it got deleted. <laughs> How about that? How about that? It Did the tweet get deleted from Charlotte Flair? Probably because this guy caught, caught so much shit. Yeah, he... he, uh, he it's been tweeted and, or deleted, but they have it here on No DQ. It says uh, Charlotte Flair made her return to Raw on April 12th after being out of action for over a month. A fan on Twitter was critical about how Charlotte looked on the show. And this is her response. Lord help me if I ever listen to a man's opinion on how I should look. Well, apparently you care about how men think you look or else you'd be wearing fucking sweatpants to the ring every day. 
you, you care about how men look at you. Your primary demographic is men. You, sh you care about how they look at you. And then this guy, avoid temptation. At avoid temptation. Says, wait, are you vanity searching? Clearly, she cares about how men think she, uh, men's opinions on how she looks. Because she's vanity searching. And that's what all these, these, these women out here nowadays, these celebrities out here nowadays do. They're so caught up in how mu and, and what the public thinks about them as far as their looks that they go out there and vanity search shit. And this was posted on April 13th, so th today. Early this morning. You're, you're so quick, people. You're so quick to go on social media. And what are they saying about me? What are they saying about me? Woman, aren't you married to Andrade? Or en at least engaged? No, you shouldn't care about anybody, what any man thinks you look like, except for him. So why are you going out there and vanity searching? And I thought she looked fairly decent last night. She looks like actually like she lost a little bit of weight. She, and that's what happens when you take two months off, three months off, however long it is. Bray Wyatt's the same way. Bray Wyatt looked good. You take a few months off and can actually go to the gym every day, exercise a little bit, take heal your body up, you're bound to come back and look good. But she did look like a stick figure. On that on that show, she did. I think the original tweet was like, hey, she looks like a stick figure, is what they said. So, I think that, uh, I think that was his original tweet was that she looked like a stick figure, and she did. She did. She looks very skinny, especially that outfit that she was wearing made her look skinny. Trending is R.I.P. Slick. Why is that trending? Hold on here. Oh, Slick Rick. Is it Slick Rick or is it... No, Bobby Slick Reynolds. Okay. Anyway. Bobby Slick... Slick Leonard passed away today. Don't even know who that is, guys. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I'm, I'm rambling now. <laughs> so apparently, uh, Charlotte Flair vanity searches... You can get a, the only thing AEW merchandise-wise that you can buy in Toys R Us up in Canada is their title belt. People think Stoney, Tony Stark is coming back as an AI. I don't think so. I don't think he's going to do voiceover. I think it's for that What If series. And you can buy your very own Captain Marvel action figure for only $16 <laughs> at your Toys R Us in Canada as well. Thank you guys so much. You've been just been taken from pillar to post. We'll see you down the road. I'm going to go get my $16 Captain Marvel in Canada.